Hello, this is Rollo from Winter Bros, and we're going to give you a quick overview of our functionality PDF documents for Dash Studio 4.7. Have you ever found it difficult to find all the different commands and functions within, da within Dash Studio? And there isn't really a way to list them within Dash Studio itself. So what we do is take a lot of time to create a couple of tables and a couple of PDF files that help you find commands that you're actually looking for because some commands appear in so many different places uh, you're going to find trouble finding other times. You can see from this matrix how just all the functions within DAS Studio can be spread out to a lot of different places and we'll go through each of the tutorials that are included and how to search them to find the information you're looking for. The functionality package includes three PDF files. One is the roadmap uh, the other two are the function uh, have the function finder, which is 70 pages, uh, volume one, and you can see the con table of contents detailed here. And volume two, which contains the function lister, which is over 300 pages. And we're going to show you how to use both of those to search with your uh, PDF reader. We're going to start with volume one and show you how to use the function finder to use the sample we've got on the screen of the word duplicate and that word of all the commands and functions that appear within Dash Studio called duplicate. You can see on your screen now we're on page 19 the actual function finder tables within volume 1. So we're going to open up the search function in our PDF reader which comes up under edit find depends on what you're using and we're going to look for the word duplicate and we're going to see you can find it under menu edit duplicate as shown here we use the next, there it is again, and we're going to just click through next to show you all the occurrences, how many places. That was a small command, it looked like I had five occurrences uh, within there, but you can search for any command. We'll scroll through the pages really quick and show you the kind of stuff you're going to see. What it is, we broke it down so that it'd make it quick and easy for you to find any of the commands that are listed on the main menu, or any of the tabs like the posing and parameters tabs, or even some of the script IDE the shape builder tabs, any of the different panes that you can find within Dash Studio to make it a lot easier for you if you're looking for a particular command. Uh, for more complicated searches you're probably going to use the volume 2 which contains a function lister. Volume 2 is over 300 pages and doesn't does contain the function lister and here we're going to search for the word brick which is used for shaders and textures so just to show you the type of a, how many occurrences a word uh, the command slash function brick can be contained in. And I'm just going to click the next. There is the first occurrence. You can see here that we show you that it's in the shader mixer tab and how to find it under edit align selected brick bottoms. Uh, this this occurrence was actually align selected brick bottoms uh, but any occurrence of any particular word you can refine your uh, searches with more words but we recommend that you just use the main word or words that contain what you're looking for. So we're going to search here, and you can see as we go through all these, I uh, believe this uh, the word brick is going to have a m many, many, many occurrences throughout Dash Studio. Oh, and if you notice, we just curled up to section B. This section, uh, this searching uh, PDF is alphabetized, so if you kind of already know where you're starting to look at, you, can, you might be able to find it that way. But we recommend that you'll probably use the search feature. I mean, I... Uh, we're only up to page 44 and you can see the word brick is showing up in a lot of places. Uh, I didn't know if you caught up here this Carrara marble. Uh, brick Carrara marble insert function. We tried to, to sort everything so that it might it might appear in two or three places uh, based on the usage. Um, I'm not even sure how many occurrences we're going to have here but I'm sure it's just quite a few for the word brick and that's what you'll find when you look in volume 2. And last but not least, volume one, uh, excuse me, the first PDF actually has a roadmap overview of DAS Studio 4.7 and what all the different areas are within it. We did the uh, tutorials using the, uh, so the layout for DAS Studio of City Limits, which was uh, 4.7, I should say, City Limits, uh, which you can find, like we showed you up there, it's up on the, uh, you can go up to Window workspace select layout and we pick semi limits you can use whatever you're comfortable with uh, but it changes the layout of what you see on screen real quick we'll just show you what the full service uh, let's say Hollywood Boulevard we'll go to Hollywood Boulevard is going to look like that on the screen we'll go ahead and do accept and you can see how it changes the layout of DAS Studio so 
because there are so many different layouts we chose uh, one to go by and if you want to it'd be quicker if you follow along with using that one so that's what we did with the uh, layout and on the style type we used uh, we went good window style select style we used the dark side style now, like I said you can use whatever you're comfortable with but it will change where things appear in DAS Studio and if you're very new to DAS Studio you really appreciate the screen layout in the roadmap uh, here's the, here's how it looks. It's in a PDF format, so it's readable by your whatever computer operating system you're using, uh, and it shows what different things there are within the uh, DAS Studio layout. Like I said, uh, we use the dark uh, city limits with the dark side, and this will show you where to find everything right there on the screen to make it quicker and faster for you when you're trying to make uh, products or make even some artwork. We're not sure if you'll find the functionality uh, volumes applicable to what you're doing, but we think they will be a value added portion to your toolbox when using DAS Studio 4.7. So visit our website or go to DAS3D to get your copy today. Thank you very much.